In this video, you'll see how a chip brings cards in and out of play at will. And I'm sorry to say this, but this could happen to you at your game while you're dealing. Oh, hello, this is Loki. I'm a dealer working in a private poker room here in my country, and I'm not going to tell you where I am. Switching cards, or the muck as cheaters call it, is consisted of three stages. Number one, stealing desirable cards. And number two, the actual switch. And last but not least, the cleanup. There are numerous ingenious methods of stealing cards. It looks like I just threw my cards away, yet a king is stolen. Many players shuffle their hands while playing. This movement can be used as a cover for the steal. Checking one's own hand, no problema. I'll place the card face up so you can see the moment the steal is executed. The stolen card or cards can be kept in this position throughout the game. Huh? But of course, there are many other options. And I was even told that some cheaters prefer to put their cards under the Wii. Any natural movement can be used as a cover for the switch. Taking one's whole cards right after it's dealt. Revealing your hand during the showdown. Deals are some of the preferred props by cheaters. It makes hiding the cards much easier. Keep in mind that we are watching the moves up close. We know what's coming and we know what to look for. However, in real life, there are just so many other things happening at the same time. Under these circumstances, it's almost impossible to detect the rules. In this video, I'm using nothing but flight of hand, because that's what I love, and I'm obsessed by it. But mechanical devices are a viable option too. And I'll share with you some of my collections in the future. Hopefully. Yes, the work is done! But you still have to get rid of the switched out card. Ha! Huh. Again, so many methods. Throwing it away to the dadu with your hand is one of them. Counting cards using a shuffle machine and changing the deck in play regularly are some of the most common measures and most efficient ones to prevent this type of cheating. There are 52 cards in a deck. If a cheater was stealing cards, there would be like 51 or 50 and so on. Some shuffle machines count the number of playing cards each time they are shuffling. This can be a total pain in the ass to cheaters. Ooh, I don't even want to think about it. Changing the deck in play goes along the same line. As soon as a new deck is introduced, the cards that a cheater had been storing is of no use anymore. It goes without saying that all these countermeasures cannot prevent cheating all the time. Yet, it's so much better to be prepared than not. I really do hope that this video was helpful to you, or at least a little bit fun to watch. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. And I see you around.